Before we move on, since cultural community is a critical part of your life, from a cultural point of view, what kind of movements are you seeing in the platform engineering space, especially as AI becomes part of their practices? I think uh, especially when you say people building our platform, uh, everyone has to think about, you know, whether it's observability, whether it's complete platform, they have to be ready for the AI workloads. So people have to build those platform with AI capabilities. How you can build that? You need to build the platform that can respond to your AI workloads, that can cater to all the needs, like that can cater to the workloads with CPU uh, intensive uh, needs, that can cater to the workloads where they need GPUs. It again boils down to the whole infrastructure. So when you create the platform on top of an infrastructure, whether it's cloud, whether it's bare metal, what you need is you have to have that central piece as we cluster. So what we are seeing is people are putting when they're building their IDPs, which is very popular, like internal developer platforms, they are building that uh, V cluster. They're integrating the V cluster piece at the central piece of the whole IDP puzzle so that it becomes easier to hand out a separate Kubernetes cluster without actually creating a separate Kubernetes cluster. So they just create a virtual cluster, hand it to the teams. The teams believe that's what V cluster is. The teams believe that they are the owner of that particular virtual cluster, which is a CNCF certified Kubernetes cluster that they get, and they are able to deploy any kind of workload on that. Now you can deploy a specific virtual cluster to and target it to a GPU node. Yes, you can do that. And as I mentioned, the whole multi-tenancy spectrum, um, if you want me to talk more about it, so uh, in August, like uh, the next month, we are launching something which is called private nodes. So multi-tenancy spectrum goes from left to right, like left being a traditional namespaces and right being the traditional separate clusters. Th that's That covers your entire multi-tenancy spectrum. In that spectrum, we already are doing the shared nodes where you have the infrastructure, like you have one Kubernetes cluster and you have 10 teams. Everyone is sharing that same host Kubernetes cluster. Second is your uh, virtual nodes and uh, then comes your dedicated nodes. Now these uh, dedicated nodes means you can do a node selector kind of thing and you can dedicate a one particular virtual cluster to GPU node, one particular vir virtual cluster to a CPU node. Next thing coming up next month is very interesting which is called private nodes that everyone is waiting for and everyone talks about. With vCluster you will now be able to create isolated control plane and attach the private nodes to that. Now this is something very interesting because you can have your isolated control plane sitting on um, any of the host cluster and you can now attach the virtual nodes. So those virtual nodes are completely separate and your teams can be completely separate, separately running. They're not sharing the same infra. So now they are sharing the different infra. That is where it comes under the category of dedicated clusters. So that is a cluster. and in September, we are going a step further, how we can do the smarter scaling of that nodes, even that is bare metal. In bare metal, the auto scaling is, is not possible right now. So we are moving a step ahead and making it possible. And the last piece of the puzzle uh, that, that we, we are solving in the multi-tenancy ecosystem is standalone V cluster, which is what I'm most excited about. I cannot share many details, but one as a one-liner, what I can say is, with standalone V cluster, there will be no host cluster required. Now, if you are a Kubernetes uh, you know, enthusiast, you would immediately guess what that would be. And uh, otherwise, just wait for October and uh, we'll be happy to demo it how, how it would look like. But I'm really excited about what's coming in the next three months.